Just in NFL anthem, protesters get horrific news, media narrative destroyed. It appears the NFL's national anthem protest might not be as widespread as the left wants us to believe. The Washington Times reported that for all intents and purposes, the protests in the NFL are winding down. Now only a few players from two hyper-liberal cities are still participating in the protest. The establishment media has used the protest to promote their leftist narrative. They have treated these players as heroes who are fighting injustice by kneeling for the national anthem. Additionally, they have worked to convince the American public that a large number of players are engaging in this movement. However, it appears this isn't true. According to the Washington Times, most of the players protesting belong to two teams, the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Both of these cities are far from being bastions of conservatism, as two of the most liberal cities in the country. It is unsurprising that players from these teams make up the bulk of the current protests. The numbers of players kneeling for the anthem has decreased dramatically over the past few months. In September, almost 200 players engaged in the protest. The broadened protest was in response to President Trump's statement that players who kneel should be fired. Now that the anger over his comments has mostly subsided, most of these players are no longer kneeling. The Times states that on most Sundays, only about 15 players sit or kneel for the national anthem. Each of this, these players belongs to the Seahawks or 49ers. In addition to the fact that these teams are in liberal cities, the owners of both teams are demonstrably liberal-leaning. Paul Allen, owner of the Seahawks, donated almost $30,000 to Hillary Clinton's campaign and $24,300 to the Democratic National Committee. Jed York, owner of the 49ers, gave $1,000 to Clinton's campaign. If the owners of these teams supported Clinton, it's not surprising that they would allow players to kneel for the anthem, especially if they are doing it in defiance of the president. Ever since former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick decided to start kneeling for the national anthem before games, the protests have been a significant issue in the league. Kaepernick stated that he refused to stand for the national anthem of a country that supposedly supports police brutality against black men. While many agreed with Kaepernick's stance on police brutality, they did not agree with his method of protest. The quarterback received much criticism for his actions. As 2016 came to a close, the debate over the issue began to subside. However, it was reignited when President Donald Trump lashed out against football players who kneel for the anthem during a speech in May, calling it an act of disrespect against the military. The NFL has lost many viewers and its ratings have plummeted. While there are other contributing factors to the league's decline, which may be what? It's hard to deny that the protests have played an important role. Give me a break, whoever wrote this article. Football fans dislike politics interfering with the game. They just want to be entertained. Now the sport has become another divisive issue in American culture. Hopefully after the fervor over the protests die down, football can return to a sense of normalcy. You gotta be kidding me. Whoever wrote this article, and if they hear that I read this, hear my comments at the end. It's not going away. People are not going to get over it. And it is because of the protest that the league has been declining. It is not any other factor except the fact that they showed their true colors. And that's why people are uh, uh, protesting the and uh, boycotting the NFL. So uh, take it from the 
many patriots in this country were sick of the leftist agenda and we're going to get it where it hurt they're going to get it where it hurts in the pocket and that's the only way that this is even uh, spoken about because they are so against president trump they're against the national anthem they want to strip all of our um, history away no that is not taking place because the patriots of this country are not going to allow that to happen it's not a one world order the way they want to portray this because it's one step at a time they're gradually chipping away at what americans really believe in and we believe in our sovereignty we don't want the united nations and we don't want a one world government at least the people here listening to the, this uh, channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.